Hello and welcome back! Uh, actually, I was running around for like 5 minutes inside uh, Grey Keep. It was a total mess. But we just had to cut that. Come on, that's just insane. I, that had to be cut. No way. Uh, so we gotta go to Venholm. And we can go to the Hulling Steps. Uh, there was like a, like a notice board where they just told me like, oh. Guess what? If you want some money, uh, you can go to the Hauling Steps. So this is preceding the main quest, and this is just uh, being a good guy. So I suppose we're gonna be a good guy. Uh, I set up the companions. Wait, travel? Game? Okay. So, I do like... Well, well, I need to choose. What do I want? Humans? Dwarves? Or Dark Elves? I can't choose. I have a, a dice here. All right. If it's one, two, it's humans. Two, three, four dwarves. Uh, five, six dark elves. Let's go. It's five. It's dark elves. All right. Let's go. We, we're going with dark elves, and we're gonna kick Mr. Mercenary Man. Despite I do like him, but we gotta have Rira in there. Uh, I set her up. She's Canela Tank. She's like a worse mercenary man. So. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. All right, let's go. With autumn sun to warm your skin and a breeze on your back, the journey to the Howling Steps is surprisingly pleasant. You sleep better than you have in months, and as you arrive at the border, you feel almost rejuvenated. The clean air, the vastness, inhospitable as the steps may be, there is a certain peace to them. All the more surprising then as the wind carries a stench towards you as you close in on the Aliani village. No way! So... Well, of course, uh, death is pretty peaceful. Uh, yep. Just keep going. Aliani village. These could have some information about the Sun God man who is still up to no good here we are the howling steps as inviting as a crypt is it just me or does it smell like undead arse here Ugh. you're right it does come on let's take a look around the village is just up ahead looks pretty bad Boy, you think almost spotted that you see that that looks pretty disgusting. What by the Guardians was that? I have no idea. Some kind of mutated insect. Do you see that fog over there? That must be where that stench is coming from. Mm. This doesn't bode well if you ask me. Let's find that village. Yes. Okay, he uses that. Song of Defiance, Rira. Reserve cost. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That she's gonna reserve her energy if she uses it. That's very cool. That's a thing in... I mostly see it in... Path of Exile, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Oh, that's not a particularly interesting skill anyway um siphon blood that's a lot of yeah i don't know we might need to go for the switch as well i was kind of hoping that i wouldn't need to do that but seems like it it is maybe becoming a reality okay well She's not gonna use that. What do you want? Uh, at least right now. You know the way. Fair enough. Right? Let's do this. Do we care about this? Yeah, like it's, it's okay. I don't think it's particularly worth it right now. It's such a small team. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Try like you're gonna get into trouble. I'll catch up. Up ahead. Hey. 
Just some friendly faces. Greetings. We leave. Wow, that's uh, very brief. Why so hostile? We need your help. Look, we don't mean any harm. We're here because we need your help. And we don't want your help. So, what's the plan? Like that? Zoema. What's going on here? Kayawu. Blessings. The world has blessed us with outsiders again. <laughs> You're not with the bandits, are you? Mm. Do I look like a bandit? Why can I say I I'm with the bandits? Look at this crest. Do I look like a bandit? Well, appearances can be deceiving. Look, if you want shelter and provisions, we can set up a tent for you outside the village walls. But you cannot enter, period. Now leave. Time to kill them all. There's a lot at stake. Listen, we don't want to disrespect your customs, but there's a lot at stake here. There always is. Let them pass, Waremu. What? But the law won't help us deal with the bandits or the plague, whereas the outsiders might. Let them pass. You may restock your provisions inside. When you're done, meet me in the eastern part of the village. Stubborn boy. Fair enough, outsiders. You may enter. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Yes? Ow. What about this place? Can, can, can I check it out? Over Do here. I need to come? Maybe later. Can't exactly just jump down. Plate mail. Hmm. Interesting. Proper crossbow. I'm mostly trash. So we can't go down. We have to go into the village. It doesn't help our resistances that much. Supposed to have a oh. We need to restock our provisions. With nothing. Oh, not nothing. I guess we're gonna see how pathetic they are. The best wares from Kalea what to the North fuck? <laughs> You got an epic bow? I can't afford that. There's no way I can sell enough stuff. Even remotely enough. No, no, no. It just... That's just not happening. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, Plan B. Let's again. kill these people and I'm take them both. have to let this go, Takana. She's with the ancestors now. I know, but she's still out there. All of Brazilians. She deserves better. But there's nothing that can be done. You know that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We can use those to give ourselves a little boost. Are you all right? You're that outsider, aren't you? Just keep walking, please. Wait, Takana, wouldn't they be able to help? You look as though you can defend yourself, outsider. I suppose I can. What do you need help with? <sighs> My wife, Ehina, she... She went out to gather food a week ago. I told her to stay away from that bandit camp. But she insisted that's the only place you could still find berries. The bandits? The bandit camps? They killed her. Oh. I'm sorry. I told her not to go. She that's mercy she deserves better than to rot on the steps. You didn't bury her? We never found her body. After our last search, the chieftain forbade us from continuing. Said it was too dangerous. Well, he also said it's time to let go, you know? <sighs> Uh, maybe she's not that. Maybe she joined up with the bandits and trying to take over your, uh, well, this village. Um, I could search for her. I'm not restricted by your chieftain's decree. I could search for her body. You, you would do that? An outsider? I have business in the valley anyway. I can keep an eye out. Oh, ancestors bless you. You have no idea how much that means to me. Start with her campsite. It's near the bandit camp. 
We were in a rush when we found it, so maybe we missed something. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay, uh, what else we got? At once. Uh, chat with him. Chat with him as well. Ah, I was hoping you would stop by. You were? Why, yes. We have not allowed outsiders into the village for nearly 40 years. As such, your actions here will be recounted in our stories. And since it's my honor to carry these stories, I was hoping to speak with you. Well, um, I'll try to give a good impression. <clears throat> what happened to the last outsiders? You mentioned the last time outsiders were allowed into the village was 40 years ago. What happened? Yes, many in the village chose not to remember, but I carry that story with me. A fierce storm had swept over the steps. The howling winds and lashing rains kept the children awake for nights on end. On one of those nights, three outsiders appeared at the village gates. Traders, they claimed, who had been caught in the storm. One of them was gravely ill. Mayawa called them rotten and began to close the gates until his mother, the chieftain, stopped him. What's next? What happened next? The outsiders were allowed to rest and recover in the village. Many of the people were uneasy, but they trusted the chieftain's decision. As soon as the storm cleared and the outsiders were well again, we sent them on their way. We never saw them again. That's it? That's it? You nurse them back to health and then send them away? Perhaps you mistake kindness for friendship. Our chieftain bore no love for outsiders either, but she did respect our teachings. It was she who told them never to return. Ah, I see. Thanks for the story. Of course. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I'm really glad you remembered that story. It's it's definitely something to tell the future generations. <clears throat> I have to go I have now. to go now. As you wish. <laughs> Listen for the storm. Wow. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, just take their stuff. <clears throat> they should, certainly wouldn't mind. What the hell? Purple potion? Alright, I'm ready. Take me out of this village. Apparently the most interesting thing happened in the last 40 years was that some guys slept here for one night. Outsider, you found me. First of all, I hope you didn't take Zawema's distrust personally. It's just, well, we Aliani can be quite rigid when it comes to our traditions. I noticed that. The name's General Arif, by the way. So, from what I gathered, your village is in some kind of trouble and you can use our help. Is that right? Most of my people would disagree, but yes, I think we do. I assume you also didn't come here without a reason, did you? You assume right. We need information about the god you worship. Sheogdet? did? Ancestors, that's... That's strange. How so? Well... It's a peculiar coincidence, but I think we should save the discussions for later. Let me be brief. Our village is in trouble, and that plague you probably saw on your way here is only part of it. About two weeks ago, a group of bandits appeared and took over most of the valley. They've effectively cut us off from our hunting grounds, and slowly but surely, we're running out of food. Now, our chieftain went to negotiate with the bandits, hoping that they could come to some kind of agreement. Even the wise women told him that it's too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen. It's been over two hours since he left. You want to make sure he's all right? Exactly. I may be mistaken, but you look as though you can handle yourself in a fight. Oh, you don't know half of it. I'm gonna whoop up a whole dark elf empire in like 10 minutes. You will see. Uh, we have our own problems. All right, where did he meet with these bandits? Fine. Where did your chieftain meet with these bandits? West of the village. Come, I'll show you. West of the village? Are you going? You're not really showing it to me. Ugh, You're crap. following me. 
Or like, I show you. Hmm? Lead on then. Hey, man. Outsider. There you are. Blessings of the ancestors, outsider. Um, likewise. What do you need? Well, I heard about your arrival on the steps. You have workers, don't you? Craftsmen? Yeah. Good. I am Kao, the village architect. And I have a favor to ask of you. We are dangerously low on iron, but with everything going on, we don't have the means or the strength to collect more. And without iron, I can't keep the village from falling into disrepair. And then your people will have even more problems on their hands. Exactly. If your men could help us out, I'll give you something that could be of use to you. All right. All right. We'll see what we can do. That's all I can ask. Thank you. What? That they just show up. These guys are useless. Sure. I even have right. to mine iron for them. If there's one thing you could change about the world, what would it be? Uh, what the? Get out of the fog, outsider. It's poisonous. I'm not trying to get inside that. Sure. But not like these guys try to avoid it. You got it. How did we get here? I think it's gotta be sure. from the other way around. <clears throat> I'll catch up. Come with me. You show me the way, right? Close. Sounds like a plan. Really? Oh, this is where we go to camp. Oh, so it's true. Age doesn't just rot your old joints, but also your brains. I told you, old man, we're staying. There has to be some way we can see eye to eye. My people are starving, and... I heard you the first time. Now I suggest you take your cane and hobble back to your village. Unless you <laughs> now look at those weapons. So you sheep have some fight in you after all, don't you? Careful, General. Those are purity ropes. They must be fugitives. Right. Look, sir, we mean you no harm. You should put down that weapon. Oh, oh, the way that soldier is looking at me says something else. We're here to incarcerate us, aren't you? Well, tough luck. We're not coming with you. Only it was possible to take down clothes, you know, you know, just to stop wearing them. After you're a, a known war criminal, the represent the crown. You don't want trouble. You're not here to fight. You just die. You die. You're too dangerous. You're too dangerous. Well, there's a clear message, boys. I think these fools need a lesson. Get up. I wonder if I could use some oh. healing. Okay, drink that. They killed one of our heroes. I don't like the sound of that. Damn it. Healing now. It must be done. I could use some healing. They killed one of our heroes. Am I seriously gonna die here? With autumn sun Holy crap, did I save? And a breeze on your back, the journey to the Howling Steps is surprisingly pleasant. You sleep better than you have in months. And as you arrive at the border, you it's feel not as peaceful as you claim it to be. The clean air, the vastness, inhospitable <laughs> as dead. The... There has to be some way we can see eye to eye. Can we just have a chat My like she's in front? And I heard you the first time. Now I suggest you take your cane oh. and hobble back to your village. Oh my god, the main character has to talk. That's <laughs> even extra reason to make him weapon. a proper Careful, fighter. General. Right. Look, I kind of want to kill him. Oh, 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 the way that soldier. You're too dangerous. Well, there. Get him! Alright, let, let's go. Okay, let's just use some potions. 
Can we just take out the guy that's next to us? Healing now. They killed one of our heroes. Why is he so fucking tanky? I need help over here. He has five thousand health apparently. I can use some healing. Can you just fucking die? Consider it done. So it continues. What do you need? Hmm. Just give the word. It's gonna take them some time to come back here. Go ahead. Over here. Stay close. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, loot it. What the hell? Shang Dao? Make yes. it good. No, we have to wait for the main guy to talk, right? Uh, you were saying? No, we, act sure. we don't have to. Make the to dwarf do it. Wow, it's gonna take forever for them to come back. At least I don't have to babysit their journey. No, we involved, can't talk! I call dibs. Well, I, why can I do it? Hmm. Lead on, then. Oh, I, actually, that was the wrong one. Sure. I'm Skelly, guys. Yes. Skelly Reaver. Might as well do that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, that's quite the journey. So I can get more skeletons going. Apparently, maximum of four. One of our what the fuck? Hmm. Oh, no! Oh my god, no. Keep it up. She's going to die in the fog. There's no way I can save her. Yes. And then Damn it. Then we, we lose as well. Oh my god. That poison fog. I need to go no, let's do it. We're doing a quick save while we are loading. So hopefully that's not gonna break the game. What the fuck? It may have broken the game. Or is it just gonna throw me back into the menu? With autumn sun to warm your skin, oh, it's happening. and a breeze on your back, the journey to the Howling Steps is surprisingly pleasant. You sleep better than you have in months. Well, and I'm as not you sleeping. arrive at the border, you feel almost rejuvenated. Well now... The clean air, the vastness, inhospitable as the steps may be, there is a certain peace to them. It's so frustrating that Always I have two melee characters. Or the main character not have the melee character. We can see eye to eye. My people are starving, and... I heard you the first time. Now I suggest you take your cane and hobble back to your village. <laughs> now Careful, General. Right. Look, well, we're just gonna sir? attack these guys. Oh, There's oh, no way we're not gonna do so that. You're too dangerous. Well, Time to die. A Get up! So, Let's be quick. You just go away. Damn it. Healing now. Stay Only we have two healers. Over here. Easy peasy. This is it. Damn it. Healing now. So useless. It's not like my other main hero that was completely OP. What is it? What the fuck? No, don't even think about it. Healing now. Out of the way. Can we just come together for heal? Of course not. I'm here. Really? No. Just drink. What do you want? How about held them up? That's what I wanted from you. Okay. Oh no, you don't. Just do the help you up. And so it continues. If only we had another healer. I want another healer in the squad. What would be the best is having a healer slash tank. 
then it would be a good good team. But the reason I was hesitant to make the character that I did is because now it's a lot easier, well, a lot harder to have a good team. And there is no other healer. Yuria is the only healer. Yes. And you really need healers. God damn it. Alright, what we got here? Did you bring them here, son? Hold on. He's your son? He is. Huh. Alright. Well, Kayawu said you could give us information about the deity you worship. The God of Light. Then he overstepped his bounds. There is nothing I will tell you. Ancestors, father! At least hear them out. They just saved your life. Which might not have been necessary if you hadn't shown up. But, fine. Speak. So, you came here because you think we know how to kill the God of Light. Actually, any information would help. We know nothing about it except that it apparently wants to re-enter our world. In that case, your best advice to leave it at that. Once Jakku has begun, there is no stopping it. Jakku? The Aliani prophecy of the end. The eon-old pattern ensuring that one day, Sheol dead will devour us all. Um... Why are you so big cagey? Respect your faith, but isn't there anything we can do to convince you? Well, this is like, I respect your faith, you know. Uh, why are you being so cagey? I don't understand. If what you say is true, then this affects all of us. So why are you being so cagey? I'm not being cagey. <laughs> I'm simply abiding by the laws of my people by not telling outsiders who are the reason all this happened in the first place more than they need to know. And the soil shall breathe rot, soaked in poison and blood. The scrolls, verse 2. Jaku has begun. And this plague is just one of its many omens. So regardless of what I tell you, the fate of this world is sealed already. Just go, turn around, spend time with your loved ones. Enjoy what little time you have left. Look, father, I don't think you're seeing the full picture. Yes, maybe Jaku is inevitable. But what about our people? If we don't find food soon, people will start dying. And the fugitives still control the parts of the valley the plague hasn't poisoned yet. If the answers we give these outsiders won't change anything anyway, why not let them help us? For the sake of our tribe. As persuasive as your mother. Fine. Outsider, are these troops of yours that you mentioned large enough to match the fugitives? They will be if we fight smart. So that's the deal? We handle the purity in return for information? The bandits and the plague. You deal with both, and we give you your answers. Son, what? I don't know, Kayawu. My division can deal with the purity, but I don't see how we can help with the fog. You can destroy its source. The fungi. Fungi? Yes. They are what's causing this. The first of them appeared some weeks ago, and wherever they grow, they rot the soil and produce this fog. We think it's their spores. The beetles came around the same time, so they probably live in some kind of symbiotic relationship. Now, if someone were to destroy the fungi, maybe the fog would... Disappear. Yes, and we know how well this worked out for Ukwe and Zama, don't we? Those fugitives are one thing. The plague is another. It's part of Jakku, and it can't be stopped. The hell? Why are you the chief? Ah, uh, we can try destroying the fungi, but we'll need a way to get past the fog. All right. We can try destroying the fungi, but we'll need a way to get past the fog. Then you'll have to search for it. Maybe driving the fugitives out of the valley will give options we didn't have. 
That's a big maybe. I know. But I'm afraid it's all I have to offer. Fair enough. So we have a deal, Chieftain. We handle the fugitives and the plague and you give us information? Seems like my son has made the decision for me. <laughs> Fine. If you have to fail to see futility, then so be it. Let us talk about those fugitives. According to our scouts, they have four commanders. One of them, a man named Thedric, being their leader. Apart from him, each commander is in charge of one of their camps. You should find him there. Thedric himself, on the other hand, moves around a lot, probably to ascertain everything in the camp is going to his liking. Always be on the lookout. Well, and that is all I can tell you. I wager that if you tear down their main encampment, the rest will flee. Good luck, General Erev. What I would like to know is that, how the hell did these guys already build up a bigger base than you who live here all your life, plague, right? Bandits, prophecy. It can never be easy, can it? Nope. What now, General? Let's get our outpost into solid carriage? shape first. I'm sure Deliver some iron. Before those bandits come looking for their negotiator. Alright. This is a good time to take a break before we start wiping out the bandits, which seems to be a pretty big job. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.